A debate over COVID-19 benefits. Unemployment money is keeping some central Indiana restaurant workers from returning to work. As CBS 4's Mike Sullivan reports, that's not the only factor impacting restaurants as they reopen. To the average customer. How do you feel about a burger, man? Business may look normal, even sound it. But looks can be deceiving amidst a pandemic. It's a tough business. A lot of people think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a very tough business. Don't be mistaken, life is returning to Indiana restaurants. Right, so it comes with a meat and two vegetables. Our carry on delivery business, though, just one vegetable for you? Continues to be steady and strong. But the help to make both in house and carry out dining flow, that's absolutely a big issue. Right now, the uh, hiring pool is a little bit light. Cooks, servers, and front house employees choosing not to return or even apply for open positions at other restaurants. It's across the board. Uh, it's statewide, it's nationwide. Many of our folks have found uh, other places for employment. Uh, and then also we're having some significant issues with federal unemployment of $600 a week. In addition to state unemployment, uh, that has caused some significant return to work issues. Oh yeah, oh these. It doesn't really give much of an incentive for people to come back to work. Ross Katz owns Rooster's Kitchen. I don't blame them. If I was in those that situation, I'd be doing that too. Some employees telling him they would like to work for 12 hours or less so they can keep their unemployment bonus. August 1st right now is when the $600 a week uh, uh, check runs out. In the meantime, kitchen staffs are bare. We had some people who quit um, in this short period of time because you know, being that we're understaffed, that puts a harder workload on the current staff. Some sacrificing off days. They don't breathe that well. Just to keep their restaurants Man. alive. So In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. If the state continues with its reopening plan, restaurants will be at full capacity by the 4th of